It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show! Da -da -da. In this episode, Exploring New Shores. El Caballero. The game, the tile placement game. Quick, to the board game room. Board game freak. He's not a dork or a geek. To the board game room. Alright, all you board game freaks out there, it's El Caballero game. The tile placement game. Alright, so now in this game, let's crack this baby open. I'll show you what it's all about. Just a brief, basic overview. Alright, so in this game, you're going to get a lot of tiles and tokens to punch out. Alright. Uh, you're going to get a little board here. Scoreboard. I'll open that up. You get these tiles here. And these are going to be your Cabarelle uh, tiles. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you uh, how to use these. Not really much to the game, but there is a lot to the game, <laughs> in a sense, because there's a lot of strategic thinking, and um, it's kind of weird how you play it, you know, I never really played a game like this before, no, I never played a game like this before, okay, anyway, <laughs> so, let me take out the tiles and I'll show you, I like the box. Great. Now, can you get on with the game, please? Oh, man. You again? All right, so here's the board. You get the scoreboard here, okay? And I'll give you time to look at this real quick so you can make do with what you got to do. And that one right there. Okay, so as you score points, you're going to be going around, yeah, your victory uh, point uh, track. Person has the most points wins. You be putting um uh, your tokens here. You get your big tokens and stuff, and then you have uh, your uh, your play markers. You be putting on a, on the track here, and you get your ships and your uh, castillos. Okay, your castles. You're basically just putting tiles on a table. If it's got a fish, though, you can't start out with that one. You got to start out with one that's, like, blank. So you grab that one, but then you got the next player is going to connect it like that. You got to connect it to land. You know, you got to place it, like, where it makes sense. And as you're doing that, you'll be, um, you know, seeing if you want to own it. And then you'll be, you know, turning your... um group of guys, whatever, you know, uh, Cavaleros, and, uh, they'll be, um, placed here on each tile, but now if somebody puts their tile here, let's just say, then you, you know, then they own it, you have to put the amount that's on the square facing the land, so the six of them will be put on so you'll have, you know, six of your tokens put on there. And then you'll have, um, you know, somebody will come along and think they're real slick. And they'll put this like that. And now they could take over. And then you take this out and they'll put theirs in. Or they can do other things. Um, that's basically it. <laughs> so, hold on a second. The player's going to get their own stack of um, these tiles. So, green. You get blue. You get red. And you get yellow. Okay? Alright. I'm going to go over the cards. You also get an expanded game, too. I showed you um, a little bit of that. Basic game rules. 
I showed you a little rule summary about the expanded game. I'll also show you the instructions. All right, so you're gonna get these, uh, you know, caballeros and stuff. You're gonna stack them in the tile. Okay, so that's for yellow, and they're, they're all different colors, so you can determine who's who when you're making the board. This board's gonna expand as you put tiles down. It's gonna, you know, expand out and cover this whole entire table, pretty much. So there's a lot to it. These are going to be your uh, your castles that you're going to put on here. Okay. Now that's going to protect anybody from trying to break in and bust up your 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 stuff and, you know, you can't control then, you know. So, and then they, they take away your caballeros. And then they put theirs on. So that's going to stop that from happening. Here you get your meeples. And you put them over here. Each player, you know, and keep track of score. Each player is going to get their own deck of cards for the color they're going to be. Blue, yellow, green, and red. But it's weird, though, how you got to play the game. Because um, you notice that there's going to be 13 and there's nothing there. But yet one's got, like, a lot. Two's got a lot, you know. So as you go through numbers, you know, some might start, you know, losing or having less as you go up now. Eight. But then you get like a times two. So I'll tell you about that in the instructions when I show you the instructions booklet. How about right now? But let me just show you a little bit. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit. So um, <clears throat> you take your number tiles, all right? And um, use the number facing the, you know, facing you, which will give you your beginning amount of Cavaleros in the game. Uh, in each round, the numbers on uh, the power cards, okay, the numbers on the power cards <clears throat> uh, Sorry, I'm trying to gather my thoughts here. The number on the power cards are like um, priority, so like the higher the number is the first player to go next, something like that. Uh, if I have that wrong, I'm sorry. The number nine card tells you to play two tiles. So that's what that is. So when you get this card right here, you play two tiles and you put them down. Okay. Uh, you're going to notice there's going to be gold here and the fish. Okay. So now that's going to, you know, get your points. And you can also put a ship there on top of the fish. And, um, so, um, you get tiles that you have land and sea on, on them, uh, with gold and fish to use, to collect for, for getting points. All right. So you're going to get points with those gold and fish. Okay. And you get cards that will set up. Uh, in turn order with number 1 to 13, that's these over here that I showed you before, and Caballeros to have each turn to use to try to get, you know, a higher uh, ranking in the game, etc. Um, you get these tiles here to, you know, to do that and then have numbers on them, you know, and um, you use these cards to tell you how many Caballeros you have to use or how many you have, you know, in, in your territory there so so as i said you're gonna they're talking about these right here you know the green the red the blue the yellow you know the guys that with the fancy hats on them those are the caballeros and they're showing you the amount on each card that you can use and put down on a tile so now um uh so you know they're showing you like how many you have to use or how many you have you know on your territory uh you get these grade uh these these grandes sorry <laughs> to uh use as castles so you're gonna use the grande to use the castle all right the large cube or the just a regular cube put the cube on it use as a castle ship token you use for owning you know um water territory 
such as over here, you know, anything with water, you could put your ship down on there, like so. And it's a water territory that that's you know, or if you want, a player could do that and put their cavaleros there, so they show how many cavaleros they have in there. So um, um, castillos or you know uh, the the castles you build. And use them to protect to protect your uh, cavaleros. All right. And um, you take your number of tiles and use them. Use the numbers facing you. As I said, when you put the uh, one down, it's facing you. So that's that. You're gonna use uh, try to get eight cabs on there. Okay. And uh, eight men on there. So now, um, you're going to turn over a first tile that has no gold and no fish. Okay, the first tile is a center tile. So you're going to put like that one there. It's going to be blank. You're going to put one here like that. Okay. And then um, it's going to get bigger as you play the game. The whole board, all those tiles will form a nice big board. And um, so you're going to turn over the first tile that has no gold and no fish. The first tile is in the center of the board, uh, of, of, you know, is the center tile. And you put it in the um, center of, the, of uh, the play area on the table. First player picks a, a card now and plays a certain card of choice. Okay, you could play a 12, you could play a 9. 11, whatever you want. And um, whatever number is played by a player, uh, the next player cannot, you know, play that number again. You know, they, they so that number cannot be played again from the next player and so on. So now you're going to pick a number of Cavaleros um, to use and then select a... Um, select a tile... And match the land types on the tiles together. You're gonna take a, a, a caballero, caballero, sorry, tile with number facing in on the land. So let's just say, for example, that. Okay. And. Um, so that number facing the land is the amount of caballer of caballeros owning that part of the land. Now lower your number tile down. Players are going to try to make you lose your caballeros. So, in order to stop that, you're going to um, build your castle. You're going to put a castle there to block your opponents. You lose your caballero's tile if someone puts a tile in an adjacent space next to your caballero's tile. Only if some someone puts land next to your caballero's uh, court tile. So these are your court tiles. All right, it's like, it's like your headquarters, and you put them on there and stuff. So now, if someone as I showed you before, they could put a land tile and do that. And now try to claim that, you know, and knock you out and get you out of the game like that. Well, for the most part, you know. So you, you score, you know, for water tiles. If you put water down and fish and, and a fish, the game will be going, you know, gold, whatever. The game will be going like this for a while and you score, you know, uh... For the amount of gold and fish, play with the most points wins, and that's El Caballero, or however you say it. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so here is more of the instructions. Here's the over overview. If you want, you can read it. Okay, preparation. Okay. The court, here's about the court. This is so you can get a better understanding then of what I just said. 
case I didn't make sense out of everything I just said. All right. Now playing a power card. On a player's turn. Specific actions. Playing area tiles. Okay. <laughs> you know I said just okay because I can't pronounce that word, right? <laughs> right? Oh, man. Sorry. All right, here's about the expanded game. More about the expanded game. Scoring, blah, blah, blah. And that's basically it. All right. Final thoughts about the game. All right. What do you think about it? It's a great game. Next. What do you think about the game, board game freak? Um, it's not a bad game. It's pretty cool. It's fun. A lot of strategy in this game. It's like a really, you know, lot to this it, the game. It is abstract game for sure. Um, you can really, you know, uh, pull some fast moves and, you know, a lot of different players on your opponents, but then they can come back and do it to you too, you know, and um. It's uh, it, it's fun. A lot of strategy and tactics in this game. I like it. I know I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not saying much about it, but um, it's a good game. What else you want me to say? It's pretty cool. A lot of strategy. So um, I like how uh, you know um, you get to use your cards and priority and ranking. You know, but it kind of stinks going away to like, you know, like um, use the cards. You can't use the same number as the player just played. So that kind of like makes it like a thought changer in a way. What you want to do and changes your plans and what you want to do. And, you know, while, well, uh, you know, because you, you could have had plans for something, you know. But um, putting down the, uh, wh wh what are you looking at? Nothing. I'm looking at you. You got, you got a handsome face. Oh, you like my face? Yeah. Um. Uh -huh.
that's basically it. It's a cool game. Caballero, pick it up. You see it on, online for a good price, whatever. You can get it cheap online, I believe. But it's a nice game. It's, it's supposed to be like the sequel to um, El Grande. <laughs> I didn't look. All right, that's it. So that's a cool game. Great game. All right, later. Bye.